point tonight at five, the grocery store wars heating up in the Carolinas from Harris Teeter to Publix to Trader Joe's. The list goes on. Yeah, there's so many. And tonight a new store is sprouting in Ballantyne. NBC Charlotte's Hannah Welker takes us inside the brand new Sprouts Farmers Market. It seems like there's a grocery store that pops up on every corner every day in Charlotte. It's the battle of the grocery stores. Which one's the biggest? Which one has the lowest prices? And now Sprouts Farmers Market in Valentine is throwing its fresh produce in the basket. We're healthy food for the everyday shopper. Move over Harris Teeter and Publix. This 30,000 square foot organic filled store may be small, but it's mighty. We are very excited that Sprouts is here. It's, we've been waiting a long time. West Coast transplants filling their carts to the brim. I was just in Denver and I actually went to Sprouts five times while I was there in three days. On the surface, it may seem like just another organic grocery store. Not quite. The store's setup is unique in itself. Sprouts started off as a farm stand selling produce in California and we really stick to our roots by showcasing fresh produce at the center of the store. In fact, produce at Sprouts normally costs 20 to 25 percent less than a conventional store. I shop at Harris Teeter a lot and I was just saying the cauliflowers are like four dollars there. So this is a really nice, you know, they're only like 99 cents here. So it's a big difference. Made to order food, fresh sushi daily and its most well known area, the bulk section. You're obviously a first time shopper at Sprouts. Yes. Never been here before. I love it so far. They have my mix. They have plenty of mixes, so I'm happy about that. But how will it fare on the never ending grocery wars in Charlotte? Harris Teeter remains number one according to a 2016 tally, but shoppers here say they like each store for a different reason. Publix and Harris Teeter, I kind of mix it up. I like the hot bar at the Harris Teeter, um, but the Publix, I like the different kind of groceries that they have. Now Sprouts will have to hang on tight. A lot of energy, a lot of positivity, a lot of good deals, so I'm impressed so far. And what's even cooler, guys, is the store is giving back to the Charlotte community. Now that it's open, it's giving back $25,000 to Tuckasegee Elementary to build a school garden. They want to teach kids the importance of growing their own food. In Valentine, I'm Hannah Welker, NBC Charlotte.